Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So, a quick video about the new two Lightroom version that came out. Now, there is two new Lightroom. There is a Lightroom Classic and there is a Lightroom CC. So, first, I'm going to walk you Lightroom Classic. So, to make it short, Lightroom Classic is basically the Lightroom you've been using for years and the one I'm going to keep on using. I'm only going to use the new Lightroom CC for my iPhone photography and I will explain you why. It can help some people. But I guess most of the people that are following me have a lot of photos, they have folder structure. This new version of Lightroom is not for you. It's really more for people who want to retouch their iPhone photos, Android photos, iPad photos, or have a slow machine and want to get you know, the best out of their Lightroom uh, you know, experience. I'm going to show you both and compare both. First, let me show you what's new in the classic, uh, the Lightroom you've known for years, which is now called Lightroom Classic. So one of the good things that's really new, I'm going to go to File, I'm sorry, File, Import a Photo, and I'm going to go to, uh, I got an SD card with a whole bunch, 500 photos on it. I'm looking just for, I'm not going to import everything. I want to just import a few. So here I am going to uncheck all, I'm just going to import this ones. And here is the new option. When you, uh, when you can take the photo in, you can use the option embedded in sidecar. And what that's going to do is it's going to use the JPEG that's in the raw file and you will be able to see your photo in a library module much faster, a lot faster. So, you know, how, when I import photos, the first thing that I do is I go through them and I give a one star to the photo I like. Well, check this out. Now, if I click here to go full screen mode, okay, let me zoom out. Now, if you see here, it says embedded preview, but check this out. I'm going to go right arrow, right arrow. Look how fast it goes. It's, it's basically instant. I can go through my photos really fast because it's not using the raw file, but the JPEG. So it's really cool. I can go here and say, oh, this one, I'm going to give a one star. This one, I'm going to give a one star. This one, I'm going to give a one star. And, um, you know, this one, I'm getting a one star. So that's, that's really cool. I, I, I really like that because it's just much faster and then you can... Uh, now the thing is, when you click here, it, sees, it says Embedded Preview. It's not the raw file, it's the JPEG. So if you click, if you click here on the Embedded Preview, if you click on the Embedded Preview here, it's going to be the raw files. The difference is very subtle. Raw files are usually more neutral. So all you have to do is click on the photo and um, let me see, I'll take another DNG and click here on Embedded Preview, click on that and the raw file is going to be coming. Boom. You don't see much of a difference, but I love this ability of going through my photos really fast. That is so cool. Okay, next. So let me show you a few new retouching things which are amazing in the new uh, Lightroom CC Classic. So here I am, a photo from Yosemite. I'm going to go to the develop module and, you know, I'm going to put up the shadows. I'm going to boost the white. I'm going to do my black. Uh, maybe give it a little bit of a, more of a shade look with a little bit of magenta. I like that. Now, I want to, you know, I think the sky is too bright, so I'm going to take a gradient and I'm going to put a gradient here. And in this gradient, let me go to exposure. I'm going to minus the exposure and I'm going to maybe add a bit of blue. You know, that's what I'm doing. Let me actually overdo it so you see. But the problem is now it goes here on, on the mountains too. I don't want that. So in the past, I used to show you to click to the brush and we can brush it out. Well, now there is a new option. It's called the range mask off. And it's really cool to use. So first, I'm going to go to luminance. So luminance, what it means is that I can say, okay, I can create a mask based on a luminance info, which is dark or white. Let me show you. If you hold on the option key, you see this wrenching and you move this to the right, you see that there is a mask happening. Now, remember a mask, white reveals, black conceals. So I, own, I want the mask to be basically mostly for the sky, not for the tree and not for the mountains. So I want the tree to be black, the mountains to be gray or black and the sky to be white. And now check this out. That gradient filter is mostly on the sky now. It's not anymore uh, affecting the mountains. Now, okay, that's, that's good, but it also works. Uh, there's another uh, option. So let me show you. I, this one has some kind of color options, but it's really neutral. You don't see it. So I'm going to make a circle around it. I'm going to feather it. So, it, so what I do here only influence inside the circle. 
I'm going to go to exposure. So I'm going to boost the exposure. I want you know put more exposure on this uh, on this tree. I want to put more saturation on this tree. I want to put more yellow on this tree. I want to put more magenta on this tree. But you see now it's doing this also on the sky. So how to do this? Well, there's this new option again. Now it's we're going to use the option of color instead of luminance. And the way it works now, I have a little marker here. I can click here, and I can say. I only want whatever is going on here to be influencing the tree. So I'm going to click on the tree one time. I can hold down the shift key and click some other times. And you see, and now it's basically applying a mask. And if you want to see what the mask looks like, same thing, hold down the option key and click on this. And you can see now there is a mask. White reveals, black conceals. And the mask is only on the tree. That means it's mostly on the tree. Look at this. Uh, the sky is kind of black. It's, it's not exactly precise and you can, you know, you can change it. You can make it more precise so that only uh, the, uh, the trees be influenced. But the problem is going to get some halo effects. You know, if you look at closely, it can make some weird stuff. So you're better off going to the right here. Let me show you and making a slightly bigger mask. And now that very complex retouching is only applying to the tree. Check this out. Before the radial circle, after the radial circle, I'm only influencing the tree. Now that is amazing, guys. I used to have to go to Photoshop to do that. Now I can do that within Lightroom. Let me finish up that photo because I can. I'm going to boost the vibrance and saturation. I'm going to crop it. Uh, voila, maybe a little of the sky. I'm always going for the panel look, you know. Um, maybe see, maybe an overall saturation, even brighter everywhere, even more contrast. But voila, so that's something that's really cool. You know, that's a really cool new option. So that's basically what's new in the Lightroom CC Classic. So you've got the import where the photos are much faster. I mean, the overall performance are better, you know. And you've got this new uh, range, you know, luminosity and colors, you know. And you will see me use this more and more in my workflow. I think it's really cool because it can make really fast, you know, corrections more precise. Now let's jump over to the new Lightroom called Lightroom CC here, Adobe Lightroom CC. Now, Adobe Lightroom CC is basically the, uh, de you know, the Lightroom CC version that's on your iPhone or your iPad or your Android onto a desktop. That's really what it is, except for a few things. Uh, presets. Let me show you what I mean. So this is basically uh, all the collections that I've created, you know, between my old Lightroom and my Lightroom mobile, I created collections. And, you know, this is where I got all my photos there, which is kind of cool. So I have all my collections. And the way I'm going to be using the new Lightroom CC is only one thing, to retouch my, my iPhone photo. I take more and more iPhone photos. This is, all of these photos are just iPhone photos that were retouched using Adobe Lightroom. So you can, you know, do some pretty nice stuff, you know, uh, using your iPhone. And I'm only going to be doing, using that. Oh, well, check this out, this one is really noisy. But you know, these are only iPhone photos. That's actually my collection of my best iPhone photos. Uh, you know, Tuscany and... So wherever I go, I always take also an iPhone photo on top of my Sony SDR photo. So let me show you uh, the way it works. It works exactly like Lightroom CC on your iPhone. So, I, uh, But the problem is that uh, you can't have folder structure. So if you want to find your photo, let's say you want to use this as your main Lightroom, you won't be able to have a complex, you know, folder structure that I have been having for years. So I don't think this is really for pro or amateur photographer. I think it's for people like me that either want to retouch their iPhone photo or somebody that just, you know, that, you know, just want to use Lightroom really fast. You don't want to get into fancy retouching and has a slow machine. That could be good. That could be a case because the only way you're going to find your photo is uh, basically by collections that they now call album that you have to create or by date. So I'm gonna to go to October and this is an iPhone photo that I took. Now, uh, the way it works, I can go here and I have basically a lot of, of the Lightroom options. The main one you don't have, which is really missing for me is photo merge. You cannot do panorama and you cannot do HDR. HDR is not such a big deal because I usually most use Aurora HDR, but panorama is a big deal. I do a lot of panoramas and it's missing, so I don't like that. But you know, this is an iPhone photo and yes, I can retouch it, you know, uh, using the, uh, I can go, uh, I can go here. Now I can do a gradient for the sky. That's pretty cool. I can do everything that I can do, you know, in Lightroom. 
most of it, except a few things like the, the new options of, uh, of the masking is not there. But let me show you something that's faster. I can use presets and I've managed to import all my natural signature preset in the Lightroom Mobile. So now I can take an iPhone photo and in one click I can use my signature preset on them. And that is so cool because let me show you, I'm going to go to uh, Sunset Dark, one of my favorite preset. And boom, in one click I've retouched my iPhone photo. And I can, you know, I can go in there and um, let me see, I can go in there and edit my gradients. I can edit my uh, radial filter, which is here. For example, you know, move it around. You know, I can go here and I can crop the photo. I mean, if you've watched my tutorial on how to use Lightroom Mobile, that's basically the same workflow. It's Lightroom Mobile on your desktop. That's what it is. Now, one thing that's cool with it, let me show you the price. Uh, so basically, the photography plan, $9.99. Now you get the Lightroom CC, uh, the Lightroom Classic, and you get Lightroom CC with one terabyte of cloud storage. Uh, so you get both of new version of Lightroom and you get one terabyte of storage for your iPhone photography or for if you want to use it as a single application. Uh, it, it's a lot of a lot of photos, which is pretty good. Look, to give you an idea, I got 200,000 photos on my um, catalog. That's about four terabytes. So, you know, and that's like 14 years of photography. So one terabyte is pretty good. It's pretty decent. But again, I'm only going to be using this new Lightroom CC for uh, basically retouching my Lightroom, my iPhone photo. To be honest, that's the only thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to take photo on my Lightroom. It's going to import automatically in Lightroom CC, and then I'm going to use my preset there. That's how I'm going to be using it. And I will just be using the Lightroom CC Classic as my usual classic workflow. I hope this helped clarify what these new two versions are. Uh, I think it's awesome having Lightroom much faster and having a solution for me to retouch my uh, iPhone photo in a much faster and better way. I love it. Voilà, mesdames et messieurs. I will do more videos on these products, uh, you know, as I get to know and use them better.